I wanted to make a video about internet trolls. And by trolls, I mean like if you were on a social media platform and you post something and somebody wants to argue with you or criticize you or bait you into fighting about something, that's what I'm talking about is internet trolls. And internet trolls to me are, are kind of a fascinating thing. They are something that because of, the, of what I do, I've kind of had a unique perspective on internet trolls. Now fortunately, because of the nature of what I do and what I promote, most of the, the feedback that I get from people is very positive. So people that are interested in the law of attraction and consciousness are usually very positive people, um, in my experience, at least that's how it's been for me. But with that being said, internet trolls still do pop up. And so I've been very fascinated by them. And for me, I've really started to see internet trolls as a tool that can be used more than anything else. I know that it can be frustrating and annoying when somebody baits you into an argument. And, but there's something there to be learned. So I just wanna talk for a moment about that. You know, if somebody is trolling you on the internet, on social media, wherever the case may be, and is criticizing you or is trying to get you to fight with them, the way that I really see them, the more that I've focused on them is that they are really just aspects of your limitation that are popping up. So for example, if you're carrying some kind of a concern or worry about what you've posted, you may see that an internet troll comes in and points directly to that. So like if I were to make a video and I were to notice that there was some kind of inconsistency or there was some kind of technical problem and it bothered me, if it bothered me, that was really the key. It was almost invariable that if there was something that I put out that there was a problem with it that really bothered me, there would probably be an internet troll that would pop up to say, did you see that you did that, 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 you know, as if to just mirror back that concern that I had. And so while it is annoying to interact with your, inter with your internet trolls, I also think that it's very valuable when you see that to notice that, oh, okay, that troll right there is pointing out something that I'm particularly, sens particularly sensitive about, which means therefore I have some kind of a limitation about that particular issue. So, and that's the thing about trolls. If someone were to put something up and it didn't bother you, then it would not have any kind of bearing on, on how you felt. You know, it wouldn't mean that there would be, there, there'd be no limitation. So what I guess what I'm driving at there is, you know, if somebody trolls you, usually the, what we do is we have an emotional reaction. If there's an emotional reaction there, it means that you're connected to what that person is saying in a negative way. If someone were to put something up on my page, like on this video and said, well, you're pretty smart for a blonde girl, which is a direct insult to blonde women, I wouldn't be offended because I clearly don't have blonde hair, right? So I would just think that that person was crazy. But if someone were to write something that I was sensitive about in the comments section, I would have an emotional reaction. So that's something to understand about trolls is I think they can be very helpful because they are very good at pointing out to you if you're carrying limitations because they're vocal. Now, when it comes to dealing with internet trolls, I think it can be very helpful to have a policy of non-engagement. All right, so if, if an internet troll is bothering you, the minute you start getting into an argument with an internet troll, all you're really doing is fighting with your own limitation. So you're, you're looking at your limitation, you're arguing with your limitation, and guess what? Your limitation is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger because anything that we focus on with the law of attraction expands. And you may have noticed this before when it comes to internet trolls, that if you engage with them and get going with them, the, insult, the insults get bigger and more embarrassing and more bothersome and the person's comments get a lot more offensive. So having a policy of non-engagement with your internet trolls is a really great idea because it helps you kind of diffuse that bearing that that limitation has on you. But first off, I think it's very important to understand that, again, if there's someone trolling you, they're pointing out a limitation that you have about yourself. If you weren't bothered by it, it wouldn't be a limitation. Accept it, okay, there's a limitation I have, thank you for your comment, bye-bye. 
avoid getting into that power struggle because you're really only fighting with yourself.